100% coverage in Python. This is going to be about 10 minutes, this video. And what I'm going to do is we're going to look at all kinds of testing. We're going to go through unit test, and we're going to run our tests from the code. We're going to use PyTest so we can run our tests from the command line, which also means we can run our tests from any external process, such as your deployment pipelines. We're also going to install coverage and achieve 100% code coverage. And then we're going to install PyTestCov and achieve 100% test coverage. 100% test coverage is 100% code coverage from the perspective of your tests. So that's what you want to achieve, 100% test coverage, and you can use PyTestCov for that, and I'll demonstrate that. And if you know all these things already, well, you can go straight to the end of the video. Otherwise, we're gonna look at all those things, and it's only gonna take a few minutes, so just be patient. Let's get started. First thing I wanna do is create some files. App.py. I'm going to fast forward a lot of the coding and you can always slow the video down if you want to see that. And I'll also put the code on GitHub. Okay, I'm going to create another file called testapp.py. In testapp.py, I'm going to import unit test. And I'm going to create my tests first. Okay, here's one test. I actually haven't created the Fibonacci function yet in app, but uh, normally we're supposed to create our tests first, so this is what I've done. This test will fail. Let's, um, let's run it. Unit test dot main. Okay, let's uh, try run that. And watched it fail because uh, Fibonacci hasn't been created yet, so anyway. Test app.py. So, cannot import name Fibonacci from Apple. That's good. Our test works, really. Let's just create the Fibonacci function. Okay, the Fibonacci function has now been created in app. Let's test that again. Okay, okay. Let's add some more tests quickly. Let's test that out. Failed. Well, that's because I didn't put a 30 there and I didn't put a 10 there. That's right. Okay, that was unit test. Now let's do pi test. So what I'm going to do now is install PyTest so that I can at least run my tests from an external process. For example, my deployment pipelines. Okay, so pip install PyTest. Okay, and since I've now got PyTest, I can just get rid of that. Press save and now run PyTest. Okay, so PyTest has uh, passed that at 100%. But let's look at that in verbose mode. So, like, here we go. So, each of the tests has passed 33, 66, 100. That's very good. That's uh, PyTest. Now we'll look at coverage. But before we do that, I'll show you one of the problems with just not using coverage, and that is over here, I could have a function that I didn't test, and PyTest would still show my test as 100% passed. So let's just write another function here. Okay, so let's try that. I have a new function here, and it's not tested, but the uh, PyTest is showing all the tests is passing. So how do we stop that from happening? Well, we can just use, we can use coverage and I'll install that now. So pi, uh, sorry, pip install coverage. Collecting coverage, okay. So 
So if I was to run coverage run app.py, it now creates a little output here. So let's just have a look at that report. So coverage report. Okay, so it says app.py has 25% coverage. Okay, so that's not 100%. As I did that command there, coverage run app.py, it actually opened app.py and executed it and uh, counted how many times each of those lines was executed and that was pretty much zero. Another thing we can do with coverage report is actually look at it in more detail. And that says, that means show missing. Okay, so this is the explicit way of saying show missing in the command there but the we can do it implicitly like this and it says missing two five nine to twelve so two to five nine to twelve those lines aren't being executed there's another way we can look at that and that is coverage html and what that's done is created a new folder called html cub there if i open that file in a browser like so it actually gives me a nice HTML report here and I can look at that file and, and in red here it shows me the file, the lines that weren't executed, six missing. So how do we get 100% coverage on this file? Well, we do this, we just in app.py, we can just run these functions like so, Fibonacci one and Fibonacci 10, that should, uh, well, that would have worked anyway. The and we can also do factorial um, zero, for example. Now, if I rerun the coverage there, and then relook at the report, it now says ninety-one percent coverage. So I'm missing line twelve there. That's all right because I didn't create. Uh, a reason for it to enter that line. So let's just do that now. Factorial one. Let's try that. Let's see if I get one hundred percent coverage. One hundred percent coverage, right? But once again, if I was to run Pi test, it would show me one hundred percent tests are correct. And I got 100% coverage, but I don't have 100% test coverage because I can see here that I'm not testing this factorial function. So we could try something else. We could try getting rid of that because that's not what we're going to really do in the real world. We're just going to have these functions as a module. If I run coverage run test app.py and then do a report on that one shows me well app.py 25% coverage again but test app.py is 67% coverage lines 6 9 12 are missing so 6 9 and 12 they're not being executed but that's okay we don't really want to test the coverage of this actual file we want to test the coverage of what it's doing the coverage of it, what it's executing when we run this. So in order to have a look at 100% coverage from the perspective of tests, we can use PyTest curve like that. So let's just install that pip install PyTest curve. Rightio, so now if I was to run Pi test in the normal way and instead enter in cov equals app because we're trying to cover app.py here it also runs coverage so it told me that I got 100% test correct but I got 62% coverage so let's look at that in verbose. V. Okay, so passed, passed, passed. 
and 62% coverage. Now that 62% coverage is a little bit more accurate because I'm only testing the Fibonacci functions and not the factorial functions here. So let's create some tests for factorial and see what happens there. Okay, let's see what happens if I now run pi test with coverage again. Well, that's 100% coverage. Let's look at that in the HTML report to do that. Cov report equals HTML. It's now written the HTML to the HTML cov folder. So once again, if I just refresh that, so there we go. Coverage for app.py, 100% without actually having to call those functions within app.py. So that's 100% coverage from the perspective of tests. And I'm calling that 100% test coverage. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share.